good days, you know, to go anywhere, like to, just to be distracted from the fact that like you have this like disease or whatever, you know, just be in the moment, have fun, do things you enjoy. Am I right here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting diagnosed with um, B cell lymphoma. It was definitely like a change. It was this most random thing. It's more a mental thing. You, like, you got to know that, you, that at the end of it, that you'll get through it. So just got to keep pushing. Jaden has shown amazing strength through this. Um, the hardest part for a parent is there's nothing I can do with this, but he's never complained, even on his worst days. He just got out of treatment yesterday. He had no idea he was coming here, but he's fought through it, just smiling. That's him all the time, never a dull moment. To meet Devin White was, I, I saw his face when he walked in. He, <gasps> I hope everything's going all right. Nice yeah. to meet you in person. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna try to get you back to the game. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get them to stay in touch with you. Devin um, gifted him a jersey and gave him some words. Tough of the battle, tough of the person. So from that moment on, that's his motto. This will not defeat him. It's making him drive. Today we are at Advent Health Training Center for our eighth annual Cut and Color for the Cure. Brian Ford, our Chief Operating Officer, really wanted to bring his passion for pediatric cancer awareness to our players and our staff. This season we had over $100,000 raised by the staff and then a total of $117,000. You know, cancer is a horrible disease and um, when, it, when a children is diagnosed with it, it um, it disrupts the family. So when a team like the Buccaneers says, we're gonna provide some hope and inspiration, and they do that with players and staff, and when these families show up, just that moment in life where these kids can have that hope to move on to the next day and defeat their disease is very powerful. What we're trying to do is just make a day of memories for a bunch of kids and, and, and their families. Pediatric cancer affects us all. One in 285 kids, by the time they reach 20, will be told that they have cancer and 43 families get a call every day that their son or daughter has cancer. And it's a horrific thing that no family should have to go through, no child should have to go through, and, and that's why we're here, to help bring awareness and to try to put some smiles on some faces of some folks that deserve it. One, two, three! Oh!